Jacques Villain, July 31, 1875, June 9, 1963, was a French Cubist painter and printmaker. Born Emile Marie Frederic Gaston Duchamp in Damville, Ur, in the Haute Normandy region of France, he came from a prosperous and artistically inclined family. While he was a young man, his maternal grandfather Emile Nicole, successful businessman and artist, taught him and his siblings. Gaston Duchamp was the elder brother of, Raymond Duchamp Villain, 1876-1918, sculptor Marcel Duchamp, 1887-1968, painter, sculptor and author Suzanne Duchamp Crotty, 1889-1963, painter, in 1894, he and his brother Raymond moved to Montmartre in Paris. There, he studied law at the University of Paris but received his father's permission to study art on the condition that he continue studying law. To distinguish himself from his siblings, Gaston Duchamp adopted the pseudonym of Jacques Villain as a tribute to the French medieval poet François Villain. In Montmartre, home to an expanding art community, Villain lost interest in the pursuit of a legal career, and for the next ten years he worked in graphic media contributing cartoons and illustrations to Parisian newspapers as well as drawing color posters. His work appeared in the satirical weekly Le Courier Francis. In 1903 he helped organize the drawing section of the first Salon d'Automy in Paris. In 1904-1905 he studied art at the Académie Julian. During the First World War, Villain worked as a cartographer for the army. At first, he was influenced by Edgar Degas and Henri de Toulouse Lautrec, but later he participated in the Fauvist, Cubist, and Abstract Impressionist movements. By 1906, Montmartre was a bustling community and Jacques Villain moved to Butex in the quiet outskirts of Paris. There, he began to devote more of his time to working in dry point, in an Tayo technique that creates dark velvety lines that stand out against the white of the paper. During this time he worked closely to develop his technique with other important printmakers such as Manuel Robb. His isolation from the vibrant art community in Montmartre, together with his modest nature, ensured that he and his artwork remained obscure for a number of years. At his home, in 1911, he and his brothers Raymond and Marcel organized a regular discussion group with artists and critics such as Jean Metzinger, Albert Gleises, Francis Picabia, Robert Delaunay, Fernand Ledger and others that was soon dubbed the Pux Group, or the Section Door. Villain was instrumental in having the group exhibit under the name Section Door after the Golden Section of Classical Mathematics. Their first show, Salon de la Section Door, held at the Galerie La Buidi in October 1912, involved more than 200 works by 31 artists. In 1913, Villain created seven large dry points in which forms break into shaded pyramidal planes. That year, he exhibited at the Armory Show in New York City, helping introduce European modern art to the United States. His works proved popular and all his art sold. From there, his reputation expanded so that by the 1930s he was better known in the United States than in Europe. In May 2004, an oil painting by Villain dated 1913 entitled Lacrobate and measuring 39 and 1 4th by 28 and 1 4th inches sold as Sotheby's for $1,296,000, U.S. dollars.